Hey, Adam Grimm here. Just want to record a quick video on how to know what content to add to your launch kit. So once you have a new launch kit, to get more people to that launch kit, one of the things you're going to want to do is create the content around what people are looking for. So if someone's looking for HVC companies near me, you want to have a you know page that's HVC companies and plus your town name. Or if people are looking for you know organic dog food, you're going to have a page that's called organic dog food, organic chicken dog food, et cetera. So getting a long list of pages and potentially blog posts that specifically speak to not the, the very exact keywords, but the general keywords and topics that people are looking for is fairly important. The next question is, how do you know what those pages are? So how do you know, and this is all called keyword research. So how do you know what keywords you should be targeting? Now, there are really nice keyword research tools out there that cost you know several hundred dollars a month. Sparrow has those and they use some of that when helping strategize with people. But um, but I, when you're just starting out, honestly, it can be a little bit overkill. And frankly, you don't invest several hundred dollars a month just to know what pages you need to make for your launch kit. So I'm going to show you a quick tip, a quick process in about five minutes you can use to identify a long list of pages that are going to directly get you results from Google search queries. So the first step that I recommend that you take is get a notepad up and just write down the uh, the different things that you do. So let's say you're a handyman. We have a handyman business here as an example. So let's write down the things we'd want to rank for. So handyman would be one, maybe handyman service. Uh, maybe as a part of your handyman services, you do um, you know a little bit of plumbing, a little bit of carpentry. Uh, so you would just take this list and try to write down about 10 things that you'd like to rank for. Um, I'm using handyman, but if you're in lawn care, maybe we're going to do, you know, uh, lawn care, lawn treatment, natural lawn care, you know, you get the idea. Or if you're a painter, you might do whole house painting, room painting, painting a door, et cetera. Write down about 10 services that you provide that you specifically want to rank for when people search for you. After you have that list in place, let's say we have our 10, 10 things right here in Notepad. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to Google and... What's really nice, what a lot of people aren't aware of, is you can let Google tell you what you ought to be ranking for, what you ought to search for. So if we're ranking for handyman, there are three places I want you to look on Google to see what types of pages you should create. So let's just search handyman. And this is the very uh, first thing that comes up. So these search queries um, kind of tell you auto automatically what you might want to rank for. So if I search handyman, um, I should probably look for handyman service. There's a good chance I could rank for that. Uh, handyman near me. So I might want to put a handyman plus my town name. So I'm here in Lancaster, PA, and York, PA is a town over. So I would probably want to page handyman in York, PA, and handyman in Harrisburg, PA. So right around, <clears throat> right away, Google's given me, um, and then probably handyman Lancaster, PA. So right, just by typing the name of the first service I want to provide, I've got three really good service pages that we have. And these are called local service pages. We've done videos in the past on how to make a really good local service page and go back and check those out. Um, but if you want to know if those are a good idea, if you have those, just do a quick search for your service. And we've got the first one here. So these are Google suggestions and you can keep running with this. So keep typing in the different things. So if I type handyman service, um, you know, I've got handyman service list. That's kind of an interesting one. Um, if I type plumbing in here, I've got plumbing service, plumbing man hand, uh, near me, plumbing services, plumbing supply, et cetera, plumbing repair. So um, already You've got a list of maybe words you want to use on your website. You know, you've got those pages you want to use on your website just by typing in the name to Google. So let's back up a little bit and just type in handyman. So that's that's number one. It's just start typing it in, start seeing what Google puts in there and what's called the auto suggest tool. The next thing I want you to look for as we scroll down here is this section here. People also ask. So these people also ask. Google's basically telling you directly what people are asking for, <coughs> excuse me, in relation to your service. So Everything that's here that's kind of related to your business, you should probably uh, have either a page, a blog post, or at least a dedicated section on your website to covering some of this stuff. So how much does a handyman cost? That'd be a great blog post um, or a section on a page. So you should definitely write, you know, consider if you were a handyman, having a page, how much does a handyman cost? Um, the next one that's specific to a brand, so we skip over that one. One down here, how do I find a good local handyman? And again, a great local, a great blog post. How do you find a good handyman? That type of thing. It'd be another great piece of content that you could create. And if you click the drop down on the last question, typically Google gives you a couple other things. So then do you tip a handyman? That could be something you could address. What should I look for when hiring a handyman? That's another great one. We'll keep clicking here. Why should you hire a handyman? 
should a handyman be licensed and insured? These are all fantastic things that should be somewhere on your website, either a full blog post or right now, I believe every launch kit comes with a tool called Rank Math. And Rank Math gives you a tool where you can have, um, there's a box you can drop into your launch kit called an FAQ box. <clears throat> and that has something called FAQ schema. And that FAQ schema is exactly what Google uses to do this. So if you use Rank Math on your launch kit, and you were to create a little FAQ box and you literally put the question, should a handyman be licensed and insured? And then you wrote a simple answer to that question. You'd have a chance of instead of this coming up, coming up, your website could come up if you've done all your other SEO correctly. So again, either write a blog post about this. That would give you a great chance to rank somewhere or maybe on one of your services pages, add that FAQ box and directly answer the question. So that's number two. And you can see this really works for just about any service. If I do lawn care, I'm going to let some people, people also ask, um, when should you start caring for your lawn? What should I put on my lawn? You could start to talk about, you know, different processes and things you have. What's better than true green. You could talk about a local company there who has the best lawn services. I've got a long list of things, um, that can write already from here. <coughs> Excuse me. So number one, let's look at the result. Let's look at the suggestions from Google. Number two, let's look at Google also asks. And then number three, when we search here, you can see at the very bottom, um, there's going to be a list of related searches. So handyman services for seniors. That'd be a fantastic page to create on your website. A handyman services for seniors. And you can write about how the, the services that you have, how it can help seniors, things like that. Maybe you want to rank for cheap handyman. Maybe you don't. That's kind of up to you. But that'd be if you are kind of on the uh, more affordable end of the spectrum, that could be something you could write. <clears throat> handyman magazine, probably not a good fit. Handyman Espanol, if you speak Spanish, you could create a Spanish section of your website. You can see right there, Google's looking for um, handyman services uh, specifically for the Spanish speaking audience. So really within less than five minutes, I've got a great list of queries and not just random queries, the things that I know Google's already told me people are looking for. So again, just to run through it really quickly, write down those 10 services that you have, do a quick search and look at Google's auto suggest and create some pages around what Google auto automatically suggests. Look at the people also ask section and either write an FAQ block with rank math in your launch kit or create a whole blog post just around some of the people also ask questions. And then look at related searches and create some pages right around there. Again, if you were to create videos and pages around all this content, you have a much better chance of ranking locally and getting a massive amount of search volume, not just for random topics, but for the things people look for. And then you can convert that audience and grow your business.